whatever you need. And then the lady that run it is like a older black woman named Miss Jean. So we already know how that go. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> All right, um, we ready? Yes, sir. All right, yo, we back in here for another episode, for another banger. Um, $20 million podcast, number one podcast on the Isserf. And today, we're talking with the one and only, Mr. Love Man, Supreme Love. Supreme Love. What's up, y'all? You like the nickname Supreme Love? No doubt. M Mr. Love Man? <laughs> Two um, E's, man. How you doing today? Sunday morning? Sunday afternoon? Man, it's love and light, bro. Mm -hmm. No doubt, no doubt. What, what you what you usually what you usually do on Sundays mornings, you know? Man, it just all depends. I take it day by day, bro. So I don't really have a schedule. When I did try to have schedules before, it would get messed up by things that I didn't expect. Not messed up, but it would change, you mm -hmm. know. Things I didn't expect to happen, like, hey, bro, you trying to go out here? Or, Man, let me, you know. So mm -hmm. I just take it day by day, one step at a time. That's great. That's great. That's how. That's how everyone I feel like should live. You know. Yeah, um, before we go any further within this interview, you should have. You should have already listened to the project, uh, Love Talk. That's that's what we, that's what we're gonna get into first. I wanna get that off the table now, like cause I feel like that's what we should talk about first. Um, let's talk about the name. Where did the name come from? Love Talk. I mean, that's where we should always come from. You know. Um, but we are uh, creating an album. Me and uh. My manager, the mastermind, we're creating a, um, a, an album, and uh, we had probably about ten songs. Or we are this this version of Love Talk wasn't the original version. Mm -hmm. We actually had a song called Love Talk, or have a song called Love Talk, and um, we was like, man, that should be the name of the album, mm -hmm. you know. So we just kept the name, kept creating music. And eventually, you know, we just stuck with it. Like, man, that's what we talking about anyway. So that's hard. Yeah. Uh, that's hard. How long? How long does usually? I know this is uh, this is the second album. Yeah. Um, how well, long? First album, second project. Second project. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How, how does? How does? I know this. Um, how does? Um, what is your process about making a project? How long? First question is how long did it take you to make the project? That's hard to really uh, to decide or to say because like we created so much music and let's just say a six month time span mm -hmm. uh, so we weren't just working on one thing you know what I mean so um, yeah it's hard to say okay my, me personally I just want to talk about my favorite song it was it was the I think it was the third it was the second it was the second song when, uh, it was love you count love count on your count love, on your love. Yeah, yeah. um that beat was that beat was honestly it was that was a, that was probably one of the best beats on there to me yeah. um talk about your beat selection I both for, for not you know I mean um I picked some of the beats but the mastermind who I mentioned before um he's really the the beat picker for real for real he he'll hear something he hears certain sounds and then he's just like hey man write something to this and you know Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I may hear what he's hearing, you know. Sometimes I might not. But, um, yeah, I, I just do him. I, I trust his ear, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, and sometimes I'll pick which beat that I want. And, you know, he not necessarily saying trust my ear, but he hears what I'm hearing in it also. Yeah, he you gets know? your sound, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. So, yeah, it's, it's really on him. Um, but... When it comes to me just choosing my beats, I, it's just whatever makes me really feel uh, that I need to say something on it. Okay. What 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 is what is your favorite song on the project? Mm, I don't know. It's hard to decide. Yeah, it is hard for my favorite yeah. song too. It's between yeah. for me. It's like between the second one and like the fourth one. Um, reminiscing, I believe. Yes, it reminiscing. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I I like hand on mine. Mm -hmm. Um because it, it's just open, you know, and I feel like we, uh, we, need, we need that hand on mind um, vibe in the culture. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Where it's like, hey, let me take you out, let's spend some time, let's chill, let's get to know each other type vibe, you know? Like, especially with all the toxic uh, male and female mm -hmm. conversations going on and feelings towards each other, I think we need that to slow down and 
you know, really get to know each other on a deeper level. The intimacy of the music type. Yeah, thing. yeah, definitely. Um, I, I like each other. You know? Oh hell, hell yeah! I like I like how you said, I like how you said you you like being like hands on rather than because a lot of people don't realize we are in like a industrial packaged world where it's just yeah, like right, right. F uh, fuck nigga free, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's yeah, not that yeah. much context behind it. it's no feeling it's just yeah. it's just a tiktok dance yeah yeah exactly exactly but you know love is the best feeling that you can get in the world you feel what i'm saying so mm -hmm. we need more of that and the more that all of us can do to give that to each other the world will be a better place you know? yeah that's great that's great um uh, you said you said this song you said this project originated from one song particularly yeah um do you plan on releasing that song we we may we may um we may release it uh we're, we're gonna make some production changes to how it sounds now mm -hmm. um because we just feel like we could just make it bigger mm -hmm. you know better just improve on it so yeah it may um you you have like i said before we started recording your 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 music your sound is very more in debt and like more different than what we're used to hearing yeah. um and i know just from the city where we're from, it's like oh, everybody is rapping about the same thing. What advice do you have for these other younger artists to like broaden their horizon? You know what I mean to make their music more, more. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I say just be yourself. Um, don't follow what everybody else is doing. Definitely be yourself. Uh, if you feel like that, there's somebody else out there who agrees with you, and if somebody agrees with them, there's somebody else that agrees with them. So mm. don't think that you have to follow what somebody else is doing um, in order to uh, get to where you wanna be, because um, let's just say you see somebody rapping in this certain style, and that's for them. You have to find what's for you, you know? Yeah, so. yeah, that's great. Um, let's, you, yeah, um, are you, uh, just talk just to talk about the project. Are, are you are you are you are you single? Um, I have a lot of relationships. Okay, I, oh, I could I could tell that from the music. I ain't want to I want to <laughs> expose them in no shit. Um, how do you how do you think how do you think um, the ladies will will digest this project? Um, honestly, I, I look at my music like uh, well, my songs it's universes so. Um, mm. Each universe is for a different lady, a different woman, you know, different feelings. So, I mean, as a whole, I hope they love it, understand it, grow with it, you know, and cherish it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not in the woman's shoes, so I can't really <laughs> say, you know. Uh, I definitely, I def we definitely are going to have a, a little segment where we do talk about women and stuff. I feel like you will have a, a lot of good opinions on that. Um, but before 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 that, the last few questions. I mean, not the last few questions. Yeah, I have yeah, a lot yeah. of questions about your music. Um, what 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 high school did you go to? I went to a couple. I actually went to uh, Charles Herbert Flowers. Um, I went to Bowie High School for about a couple months, and then uh, Tall Oaks High School. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Well, why were you skipping around high school? Was like you getting kicked out too? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like you're not a real nigga if you wasn't getting like kicked out of schools. You know what Bruh, I mean? You feel me? It was like, man. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, but still get your education. I ain't saying that. You oh yeah, still, still still get your education. Still graduate. You feel what I'm saying? Do what you need to do. You know. But yeah, man. When when did you start doing music? Um, I don't know. It's really hard to say. Mm -hmm. Uh. I started writing poetry first. Oh, wow. Yeah, I started writing poetry, and then uh, a friend of mine, I let him hear it one day. I didn't tell him it was a poem. He was like, damn, bro, you rap. And I was just like, yeah, fuck it, I rap. Like, yeah. So mm -hmm. um, that was about maybe 10 years ago or something like that. Um, yeah, about that. And I just now started taking it, ser I'd say, like, more seriously uh, just this year. To be honest. Okay. Yeah, I've always loved it. I've always loved music, written music, and things like that. But um, yeah. Um, I, I do want to talk about this um, mis m musical genius that you keep bringing up. How did you meet him? Man, <laughs> um, I met him a while ago. Um, 
I actually had a ex-girlfriend um, that passed away in a drive-by. He was dating her mother um, at the time. And um, she was like, yeah, my mom's boyfriend makes beats, you know. And I was like, oh, all right. And, you know, we just locked in from there, you know. And uh, we did some songs. And then, I, you know, I went my way. He went his way for a bit, locked back in, and then, went our separate ways again and now we link back up for good like all right it's time to mm -hmm. really you know take this to the young how yeah. do you how do you feel like he has helped your sound like you know what i mean um i feel like i feel like he's helped cultivate my sound and bring it to i don't want to say to its full potential just yet because we haven't done everything that we're looking to do. Yeah, second project, you just started. Man, just starting, bro. Um, but he's definitely helped me uh, be more comfortable in the studio because, mm. uh, all right, so let, let's say, um, not let's say, but, so we've done girl songs and stuff like that before. Okay. And, uh, and he was like, he'd be like, man, that's the one right here. And I'd be like, man, I'd feel it. But, you know, I'm on my, uh, I have a lot of different type songs, you know. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't really trying to stay on a and b ish kind of thing. Because, like, my, when when my mind originally thought R&B rap, I thought of somebody like Ja Rule. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like Ja Rule. A lot of people did. I, I never really. Me either. <laughs> you, you like Ja Rule? <laughs> I ain't never really like him, bro. Like, even though I'm saying, I'm like, man, it's cool, but I didn't. That's the first thing that I thought. I didn't okay. think Nelly. I didn't. You feel what I'm saying? No, none of that. So, wow, that's a, he don't. That's the worst thing you think of him for representing. Oh, no, hell no. You feel? I'm just like, man. So you know, I kind of steered away from it. But to be honest, I've always had great relationship with women. I've always. Uh, written poetry and things like that. So um, we sat down and had a conversation and he said, man, um, we need to go in the path of least resistance towards success. Okay. So with that being said, it's um, what do you do best naturally? Okay. You know, and you know, we both came to it like, man, like, yeah, you know, poetry, been good with the girls, mm -hmm. you know, so. Put them together. Yeah. That's great. You know, and then he has, he, he has a great ear for beats. He, bro, like, when I say be playing the piano and, you know what I mean, when we load some beats we might get from other producers, he, he can hear shit in it. He's like, this bass is off or this is, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, bro, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Mm -hmm. I just hear it and accept it for what it is, but he's pinpointing the shit so accurately that you know what i mean I'm that's like, that's uh, great to, to always have somebody around like that because yeah. honestly if you are a musician and you just and everything's going through you like you you, you do tend to get like the vision gets blurred from like the outside world you yeah know? yeah exactly exactly being caught in our own world you know mm -hmm. but um just like songs just like uh conversations i feel like it's all a blending of universes you know and and that's how we uh create the best things you know mm -hmm. um multifaceted uh, perspectives mm -hmm. and creations are the best ones, you know. Wow, okay. Okay, so um, we're, I know we're supposed to be talking about love talk, but I, just me from becoming a fan of you, I also do want to, can we talk about time? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I do want to talk about that. It was a, it was a, it was an interesting project. I liked it, like, um, talk, talk to me about that project, you know what I mean? Um, really? I was just like, man, it, it was an idea that I had for a while. And I was just like, man, I just need to get it out, really. Um, and it was just created to uh, express love for some of the people who I looked up to, mm -hmm. you know, like hip hop figures that I looked up to mm -hmm. um, growing up. So, and I, I've always really liked 90s hip hop, you know. Oh, yeah. That's some great. people that I didn't, some people's beats I, I didn't, you know, put Who's on. Your favorite there, 90s like, artists? Who who are? Yeah, your favorite nineties artists? Um, Big Pun, mm. Pop, mm -hmm. Face, um, Nas for sure. 
mm-hmm. Jay Z, Lauren Hill, everybody who was on the Time Project, and some who weren't. You know. Okay, that's 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 hard. That's actually hard because. Um, 90s, not the 90s. I feel like the 90s is like a golden era. 3K, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, hell yeah! Like the 90s is a golden era for hip hop. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you and just anybody, even for kids that was born in 2012, they yeah. can still look back at that era and learn a lot from it. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, definitely, um, definitely. What was? I mean, I'm, I kind of, I kind of, we was. I want to get back to the question that you were answering originally about time. Right. Um, I, I asked you. Um, oh, you said you was. Oh, yeah, I guess you answered the question. Okay. Okay. You answer the question. <laughs> um, when when did you when did you when when was your first when was you um you recorded your first song like you know when was the, like tell me walk me through that process I know like it's different for every artist but I know a lot of artists like they always remember that first song you know what I mean if it was good or bad you know. Um, my first song. Like uh, not not you actually put out but like ever. Yeah yeah yeah. First. Um, hmm. My first song that. I, Oh, I was in a uh I was in a group with my homie who had who had uh who had helped me start rapping, I guess we we okay. say that. You feel what I'm saying? And um he had his mans, you feel what I'm saying? He was both of our mans at, at, at the time. Um a homie of ours and uh we remixed uh, Jim Jones Ballin', you mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? So Oh well yeah, I know that song. I know yeah, that song. Yeah, yeah. That so. was your first song? Probably. Now, if, Probably. You, if you listen to it right now, what, when, is it bad? Is it, is it, I don't know. You don't, you don't, you don't remember that much? Mm-mm. Oh, wow. I, bro, it's like I've been through so much, bro. Like, I don't even, I don't remember a lot of things, bro. Mm. Like, you know, I remember certain things, but I don't remember a lot. Mm. Okay, um, let's kind of move on to the next segment. You have a lot of tattoos. No. The, you're the, the first rapper I've talked to, like, you broke the record with all these tattoos. <laughs> Why would you have? Why do you have all these tattoos, gang? Um, it's expression of, I I I'd say, uh, from from pain to love. Mm. That's what they for, mm-hmm. you know. And um, yeah. You're talking that's about like the whole process, like as far as getting it, the pain of it, the type thing. Nah, like the messages behind them. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it it was uh. They were. How can I? They they were um, realizations mm-hmm. of love while going through a uh, a space of pain mm-hmm. in my life, just a frequency of pain. But mm-hmm. there were realizations of um, of love that I that I had on the way to getting to where I am now. Okay. So, yeah. If you had to if you had to pick one tattoo out of all you have that kind of represents. What you just said, the whole the pain through love, what, what, like kind of your favorite tattoo type thing. Um, I'd have to say it's the highest one right here is I am. Oh yeah, I've seen that. yeah, I am. You know, um, I am. I know face face <laughs> tattoos is face tattoos is a is a decision that is yeah. is a crossroad. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. My your balls are definitely bigger than mine. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. To I don't know if I could do that. Um, walk walk me through that decision making for me. Like, um, what were you what were you thinking about when you got getting your first tattoo? Like you do like you can't. I mean, can you, you used to work at Walmart? Oh, <laughs> uh, you said I did. No, I'm saying I'm saying like you could still like because they be saying like tattoos is bad for you. Like, right, right, right. But like they be hiring niggas with face tattoos. But the um, real original question was, I'm sorry, I got yeah, that aside. No, okay. Um, your first, your first uh, face tattoo, what, what? like, was was it was it any thought of it? It was just like I'm just going, it's just another tattoo. Um, what was my first face tattoo? Like, I don't even remember my first face tattoo. Oh, yeah, I do. Is uh, it's one right here that says beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like uh. Not I feel like, but the experience was more more or less um, life is like a reflection of what you see. So um, it's beautiful, um, man. That makes sense. That makes sense. Wow, man, yeah. that was that's. I mean, like it's, you, you only said one sentence, but it was so deep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what's one thing I do? I can tell from listening to your music. It, it's very in depth. You know what I mean? It's not just like. Yeah, pull up to the crib and try to fuck. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's very, you really, honestly, in some of these songs, you're describing your love a lot. Um, mm-hmm. Very, um, I guess it's, I, guess, <laughs> I don't think it's a bad thing, though. It's nah, just like, it's just like, I guess that it plays with, 
the poetry like you originally started with poetry yeah. and that's why that's why because you know you know people they don't they usually they usually do it backwards like they, they find out how to do a good vibe then they find out how to do the context right but right. you came in with the context with the i mean you, you did poetry so you did you read a lot growing up yeah definitely i definitely read a lot and i still read um it's it, it, not saying that it's hard for me to uh, or difficult for me to find what I'm into now, mm-hmm. what I like to read now, but um, yeah, I, I've read a lot of different books that I was interested in. Um, if you had to give somebody watching this or a younger kid a book to read, you know what I mean, like or t- three top books, you know what I mean? Is there yeah. Anything you can name off? Um, I, I always get this this book mixed up. No, it's The Alchemist. Mm-hmm. Read the Alchemist, you know. Um, what you're looking for is never far. Might be where you at already, which is it goes back to what I said earlier. Just mm-hmm. be who you are, treasure who you are, value who you are. You know, you already have it. So just shine that light to the world. Give that to the world because there's no other. Shit. Yeah. Um, wow. Um, that was pretty. I got. I wasn't expecting that question to get that deep, but I'm gonna let's go back to the music. Let's go back to the music. Um, talk, walk me through your song process. Like, do you, no, no, I'm actually. This is this is a this is a two part question. So I'm gonna okay. ask you the first part. Um, when you go into the studio, is what do you feel like you need to do before you do the, you go to you start recording? Like, do you drink a soda? Like, what is an example? Just wait for the mastermind to load it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I come in this dude ready, bro. He sends beats, you know what I'm saying? And I write to them joints. Sometimes he'll load up a beat and he'll be like, man, this this right here, we need to do this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Or type it in my phone, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whatever, either or, write it, type it, you know what I'm saying? And we just do that shit, bro. So, um, nah, it's just do it. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, what what are some of the what's up what are some of the key things you try to involve in your songs? Um for like a younger artists that's like learning, you know, songwriting, they can learn a lot from your songwriting. Yeah, um just being authentic and um whatever the purpose of the song is, make sure that that's conveyed uh thoroughly and fully. Um, from how I feel about it, mm-hmm. you know, not leaving anything out from how I feel about the subject matter, or the song title, etc. I mean, I usually come up with the song titles after, but I know what the song is about before I write it. But you know, just expressing myself mm-hmm. fully, you know, like how I'm telling them to do, whether it's through their fashion, through the music, when they talking, whatever, you know, express yourself, be yourself fully, and that's the best thing that I can give anybody. Where did you get supreme love from? God, bro. You just woke up and that's just the name? I mean, we could put it in that sense too, yeah. Got uh, enlightened, uh, became a woke. You know he wasn't saying? just he wasn't just was you he wasn't just thinking about, oh, I need a rap name type thing. It was just like you just nah, chilling. Nah, it was like that. It was like oh, that. Okay. But um no, nah, but again, it, it, it can go to that too. Like I got awakened, you know what I'm saying? And, I love how I love how open you are about being like being having believing in a higher power and no being doubt. religious. No you know, doubt. some if you talk to some rappers about you know do you believe in Jesus and stuff like that, they they like act like they get scared. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I believe in just about everything, bro. Because how can you say you don't believe in it if you're talking about it? You can describe it. You know, all of that. You know. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't say religious though. I'd say spiritual, but. Um, yeah, yeah, man. It's definitely a higher power. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't even know where some of these questions, answers, music, beats, we don't, we don't know what's pulling all of this together to make it yeah. manifest, you know? It's but, not just meat and bones type thing. That's exactly, something bigger. It's, than it's above us, you know, and beyond us, but still within us, you know? Mm-hmm. I was reading, I was reading this article about how like this, this just more so piggybacks behind believing in a higher spirit and then like your soul and stuff. Right. Because I was reading this article about how it's it's confirmed that every time like a human dies type thing, right. like their body gets lighter like 
point three like yeah 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 like it's something that's leaving that body mm-hmm. and that's yeah. a and that's a fact thing so I feel like yeah. just for that by itself should get you give you a reason to believe in something yeah to put your faith into something rather than a little Uzi Vert you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, shout out Uzi, shout out everybody, man. Everybody doing their thing. Everything, everything contributes to the, everything contributes to what needs to be done, mm-hmm. you know. So, and I think if if things were happening for the, uh, if things were happening for the worse, none of us would be here right now, you know. Mm-hmm. So, it's all getting to a point or multiple points, you know. Whatever needs to happen in the. Uh, and the progression and the evolution of humanity, mm-hmm. you know. Wow, shit. Oh, we didn't, let's go. Cause let's 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 lighten the mood up a little bit. Let's lighten the mood up. Yeah. <laughs> um. What What do you do on like you know Friday night? You you got you, you want to go out? Like, what's the plans? I take it again, bro. I take it day by day. You know what I mean? Um. I take it day by day, bro. I don't, I don't really have like a man. Friday's time to get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I don't have that, bro. You know, I just take it day by day, bro. Live life, enjoy it every day. You know, mm-hmm. so I think, um, I think some of us get so caught up in in thinking that we have to uh, put ourselves in certain boxes. You know, um, that uh, we forget that life is an experience. I mean, life is life, but it's an experience that we're having. So it's like it's all in what you do with the experience. So. Um, for me personally, I just I rather enjoy it um, with things that are that are unexpected a little bit. Basic, not even a little bit, but basically, I rather enjoy it unexpectedly because um. You go with the flow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I guess that answers my second question. You do you have like a daily routine? Like, do you do a fifteen minute job or anything? Um, I wake up, um, talk to the source. Um, might hit some push-ups right quick. Um, listen to music and eat. Depends on if some dishes in the sink. I might just bust them joints out right quick. That's that's a real nigga answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You that's know a real what nigga mean? answer. Um, yeah. Then um, listen to some uh, some podcasts or some some spiritual teachers that I uh, that I listen to or listen to, you know, just things that help improve myself. Okay. You know, as a person. So. That's great. That's great. We we all should be focused on improving ourselves every day. We should all want to be the best of ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Every day. For sure, for sure. Um, talk about talk about some of talk about some of the um, with with love talk. You know, uh, was that was that that cover art? Was it like was that the first cover art? Did you have plenty before? Um, I actually did a photo shoot for him and um. My team just said, hey, like, this is the best one that we could use. So, you know, let's just go with this and just keep it rolling, you know. Of course, uh, ideally, um, we 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 could have wished for it to, to be a little bit better, but we accepted it for what it is. That's what it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. The songs, we could have structured the songs different, but we were just like, man, we just need to drop this shit and get rolling because we have so much music. You feel what I'm saying, and and so many other things to do, that uh, and we we know that it's already, uh, it it it's a timestamp, so it already is what it is. So, mm-hmm. you know, so that uh, that photo shoot was already done. So we were just like, man, but the the lights were a little um, dark, so we had to lighten it up a little bit. Oh, okay. You I, know, see, I see what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So um, just put it up. I know, I see, I hear you keep talking about, it's great that you keep bringing up your team and how your team, um, so you don't have to put, that's a lot of work there to put on one artist. Talk about, to other younger artists, how important is it to have a team of people that you can go, you know what I mean? The greatest people that you know had a team. It don't matter if you've seen just one person, it doesn't matter if they um, highlight one person. All those people around them make them the great person that they are, were, are, will be, et cetera. So, you know, if you want to uh, do it fast, they say go alone. If you want to go far, go with your team, you know. But um, it's definitely important to have people around you who have your best interest. And uh, that's um, 
at your greatest potential, mm -hmm. to be your greatest self and your greatest potential. So um, just evaluate everybody that's around you and um, make the right choices for where you, you see yourself being, where you feel yourself being, or um, mm -hmm. where you're uh, motivated or inspired to go. Okay, okay. Um, do you, um, for your, for, for another question, another question that probably people, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think of what other people would no, ask. No, it's all good. You know what I mean? Yeah. For artists that's st for artists that's starting, you know, on social media, especially mm. with the era that we're in, right? You know, TikTok dances and shit like that. No doubt. Um, do you do you have any tips for people that, to grow their platform? Um, marketing, market, promote. Um, one thing I've done to uh, to help get some of my numbers up is, um, let's just say uh, you put out. A piece of content mm -hmm. <clears throat> don't just post it up you know what what I've done is everybody in my uh, message list like you see how you can send a story to one person and you can you know man let me send this funny this funny thing to my mans or mm -hmm. whatever send your piece of content to everybody right there you feel what I'm saying like that that's place. everybody right there and I've even went to the extent of you see your keyboard it might start with a or S or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, um, type in A, see everybody's name that starts with A, send it to all of them, mm -hmm. go to S, send it to everybody with S and so on and so forth. And after that, you can start making combos, A, M, send it to all A, M's, A, E, send it to all A, et cetera. You know? mm, that's so, a good tip. That's a good tip. Yeah. That's a good tip. Oh, that's a good tip. For, for, for another for another um, after I don't I'm not I don't want to put push you I don't want you to give give anything you don't want to say on here but mm -hmm. going forward with love talk like what is like do what do you plan on doing more with that project like a deluxe or you know I may it um we we we've kind of been uh discussing some things behind the scenes um they should uh, join the newsletter to the website all the updates that we have about the album, future product, products, um, music, everything like that is gonna be on the site. Um, speaking of the site, we have uh, like dating tips, um, fun ideas that you can oh, do yeah, with your spouse. Good yeah. places to eat at? Places to eat at, future concerts that are coming up. We have some it's very big stuff. Itself. Yeah, we have some very big stuff coming to 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 the site. So you know, for all updates on the music, like definitely um, and more. You know what I'm saying? Definitely uh, subscribe to SupremeLove.com. No, for real. Go to the website right now. I definitely can. I can applaud you for the website because one thing, one key thing that I learned from your website that many other people should learn is that. Like it's not just straight up like yeah like buy a t-shirt listen to the album like right, you have right. to you have to put things on there to make people stay on your website as long as possible you for sure I mean? for and a sure. lot of people don't get that you know yeah for sure presentation bro. and all that shit yeah yeah man it's it's about more than us you know what I mean mm -hmm. so you know from the music to the clothing to the ideas to everything that we put on the site is is to make a um, a better experience for everybody you know. Um, me and the team are looking to be a blessing to everybody that we meet, mm -hmm. you know. So, and everybody that's encountering anything that we do, you know, including ourselves. So, yeah. This is this is a side question, like it's kind of kind of like not planned, no questions. But I just realized the piercing, you nigga. Mm -hmm. How do you get a piercing in your face? Like, um, I, like did that <laughs> did that hurt? Like, where where does the end go? Like, man, I I, I really don't know fully. But from what I uh, felt, it's kind of like a screw or some shit like that. Uh, and they kind of like screwed it into my face, shit. like the, the joint, and then they plugged it in with the diamond. So. Fuck, man. Yeah, man. I, 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 feel like, I feel like we need a, we need a segment just to show that shit itself. Like, this shit's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk, about, talk about, talk about, talk about, you, 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 do, you do seem like you're a jury connoisseur. Yeah. Talk about give some tips to give some tips to like you know so niggas just won't be wearing green chains around here like give some yeah tips. yeah I mean Matt look 
do what you do. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, you can wear whatever you want to wear. Um, Cause I mean, at the end of the day, it, it was funny. Cause I I thought about that um, earlier in the week. <clears throat> I was like, man, it, it's funny like how everybody be concerned with what other people are wearing and mm-hmm. stuff like that, you know. Um, but it's like, I think everybody just wants to feel good, you know. So do what you do. Me personally, um, I, I have Cuban in me. Um, my pop side is Cuban, so it's like I. And also, uh, in alchemy, uh, gold represents the sun. So mm-hmm. I feel like um, it's important to have gold. Shit, that's hard. Yeah, like, did, like the like, universe, like you know energy, what I mean? Like energy, like an energy thing, like it makes you... I mean, I, I, of course I'd say energy, but, okay. you know, um, again, it's like gold represents the sun. So mm-hmm. I, I feel like that's light, that's warmth, that's love. The universe has... Uh, many sons, so you know it's only right that I do it too. You know, mm-hmm. As a representation of who I am. That's great. I need to get some gold. Yeah, yeah man. Steve Jobs. That's what I'm rocking. Yeah, man. You gotta <laughs> get some gold, man. Yeah. I, I never really thought of. I never really thought about buying a chain or like wearing jewelry or anything. I never even thought about that. Like, man, honestly. look, I, I, it's it's even been times where you know, um, I've been down bad or or in some situations where I'm like, man, I could get this. Uh, get back a quick three, four, five, whatever. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's it, There are also investments, you know what I mean? And you'll always get money, always get it back, whatever, but, you know, you're wearing investments, and um, if, if it's what you like, then just do that, you know? Shit, yeah, that's that's great. This is, honestly, I'm, I'm honestly, this has been a great episode for me so far, nigga. We talked about... Same here, bro. We talked about religion, nigga. We talked about investing. Yeah, we talked about bro. marketing. What yeah. the hell? I hope y'all got a notepad. Value ourselves, value the universe, value everything, man, because it's here for you, you know, uh-huh. for us. You know yeah, I mean? it is. It is. Yeah, bro. Um, now, this is the segment that, hope, that some people I know watching has been waiting for. My audience is like 90% male, and if you watching me, like, like you don't get no bitches. Like, I just, that's such how I feel about the niggas. So, this is, this is the part where you come in, um, you could come here, come in here, and maybe give some tips to these niggas. Hey, buddy, you know what I mean? What should, buddy, what should you shit, say, bro. like, you know, niggas, niggas that was probably watching this probably still yeah. hitting the bitch with the, yeah, excuse me, shorty in the red. Yeah. Like. That shit is not cool. That's just 2017 jerk era, damn it. I mean, look, I, I don't know what the female like. You feel what I'm saying? Like, be yourself. You, you feel <laughs> that's the best thing I, I can say. And whoever's for you, she going to like what you do. You feel what I'm saying? And yeah, man, just uh, treat her with respect. You know, be a blessing in her life. I think <clears throat> I think a, a lot of us are uh, so, so scared to be hurt, you know, that... uh that we uh, we refrain ourselves from being a blessing mm. to other people. You feel what I'm saying? Especially our women. Um, I have connections with women just from being a good dude now. Like if if, if I need some, or if I just want to talk or if I, whatever, you feel what I'm saying? It's like they still there as a friend. You know, I think women definitely remember who's a good dude. You feel what I'm saying to them, and they'll always value a good dude. You might not be the one for her, but you know that shouldn't stop you from being a good dude. You know, um, that's just being a good person to somebody else. That's getting you good karma back. That's you know, mm-hmm. it, it's just being a stand-up guy. So um, whether it's hollering at her, whether it's getting her, whatever, it's be your best self, man. And um, yeah. yeah, and just help helping her is helping yourself. Mm. Of a, of a current of a current message that you keep bringing up, not that you that you keep that keeps that keeps yeah. coming up is being yourself, and I feel like that is that is that is a big thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that's hard for, sure. for people to like, you know. Everybody is niggas don't even know how to be themselves. Niggas know how to be Drake or Twenty One Savage or right. Kanye West. Niggas don't know how to be themselves. Right. N- need to spend some more time with themselves, you know. Like really, really accept and and tap into what you like, not what influences you to like. Mm. it or them or whatever you know um mm-hmm. i think one thing that we have to realize is a lot of people their job is to uh is to influence you into liking them you know what i mean but what's more important is that you like yourself because uh Hell yeah. the thing is is if you're not being yourself you'll never get what's for you mm-hmm. 
you'll get what's for somebody else. So if you say, man, these bitches is for everybody, it's because you acting like everybody. You know what I'm saying? You're not acting like yourself or you, no, really. else you're going to get who's for you. You know what I mean? Shit. And she she might just be for you for, for two weeks. It might be for a week. Two weeks that might summer. be for a month. That summer, whatever. But, you know, it's like you're not the same person that you was last summer, right? I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? I don't so, want to be the person I was last Exactly. Time. So, you know, grow every day. You feel what I'm saying? Grow with the people that, that, that are with you. You feel what I'm saying? And sometimes you outgrow people. Sometimes um, you grow together, you know. So, you know, just accept Shit. that. And well, don't be soft about it. You know what I mean? Hell just yeah. Accept that, man. Accept you know what it. I mean? And, and just have love and, and accept what comes with you being you, mm. you know. Shit. So, if you've watched this episode and you had it muted this whole time and you just cutting it on, the three things that you should have <coughs> took from this. Usually, I ask this question, yeah. but I'm going to answer it because, like, it's, it's. I feel like it's so prevalent. I, I feel like it'll be a dumb question to ask you that. Like, mm -hmm. oh, what you? But I feel like you need to. Uh, the first one, be yourself, stay connected to the universe. No doubt. And the third one, be yourself. Mm, what would you say the last one? Be? Love. Love. Love talk. That would be the last one. No doubt. No doubt. Um, this. Thank you for coming. No doubt. This. Man. The network. Appreciate you having me. No, bro. for real. For real, bro. This is. This is great. This is a very informal conversation. Niggas don't man. never have this much to talk about. Man, because they don't, don't don't think enough about it, bro. You know. Um, and I think not, nah, but I but I think that we do. I think that. Uh, honestly, I feel I feel like a lot of us are are missing. Um, sitting down and really having uh not just love talk but value talk mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying like hey bro how can um we get better what are some different things that we can do not just monetarily bro but you know to increase your value as a man you know mm -hmm. what i mean uh not just as a man but as a person as a woman as a man is you know um so it's like just sitting down connecting and you know asking each other questions, even though it's just been you asking me questions, but you know, we're both in the positions that we're supposed to be in, but you know, as brothers and um, just humans, I think uh, the more that um, we're interested in, in getting to know not just each other, but um, life and, and what what's valued to each other, that's the more that we can help each other. No, grow no really. to those places that we desire to be. You know? That's great. That's great. I, I definitely hope. Definitely hope if you. I definitely hope that you like excel from this. I definitely hope that. You, oh, that was the. That was the last one. And grow, grow yourself every day. Be your best self every day. For sure. For sure. Connect oh. four. <sighs> Shit. Um, you're you're welcome back to the network anytime. Um, I, I would love to have you back. Honestly. For sure, bro. Um, I appreciate it. This is this is great. Is there anything you want to tell the people, you want to lead the people with? Love and light, man. Love and light. Love Always, and light. no question. That's hard. Uh, Check out the site, supremelove.com. We about to start having one of one pieces. So, you know, um, y'all definitely tap in. There's a lot um, coming like to the site. Exclusive so, shirts? Exclusive one of one pieces, bro. Yeah, that, just don't mean, that just don't mean like regular print. I mean, that's crazy. Custom, custom, custom pieces, you know. So, just like how there's only one you, you're gonna be the only one with these pieces, you know what I mean? So, um, that ideas for for if you want to take a shorty out, you feel what I'm saying? You might not know what to do. SupremeLove.com will give you some, some, you know, some. We'll give you some ribs, man. You and know? places to take her to eat. Man, eat, sip and paint. Man, it's 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 some stuff in there, it's some ribs in there for real, you know. So Not definitely well. check it out. Um, and more events going on in the area. Maybe if y'all like music, um, take her to a concert. You can see what what uh, what concerts are coming I in the like DMV jazz. area, you know. I always so, be liking jazz. Yeah, man, jazz, R and B, everything, you know. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's great. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Man. Um, on that note. This has been the number one podcast, $20 million podcast, number one podcast on Is Earth, and this has been Supreme Love. Yes, sir. All right, that's it. That's great. Thank you.